Hey guys, it's Christopher, and this is another Solarus tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain the basics of Lua scripting in Solarus. Mm, because, um, as we will see in, in these tutorials, the whole behavior of your quest will be scripted in the Lua programming language. So if you don't know Lua, it's okay. Um, if it, but it's better if you already know uh, a programming language, if you have some basics in programming. So I mean, you should already know what is a function, what is a variable, calling function with parameters, return values, etc. Um, Otherwise, you you should, uh, if you are if you are really motivated to learn um, Lua without any previous programming background, <laughs> it's it's great, but um, it will require, of course, uh, more work. But um, there are links in the description of the video to the um, the programming l programming in Lua book. Which is great to learn uh, to learn Lua. Uh, so okay. In uh, your quest, you can have as many scripts as you want. Scripts are the uh, dot Lua files. When you created your new quest, uh, normally at least three scripts were created. Main point Lua which is the main one, it's executed when when you start the game and normally two other scripts the Solaris logo uh, which defines this animation the logo that we just saw so it means that everything is customizable I even the, the logo you can change it, you can remove it if you don't like it we can add sounds and uh, the game manager script which is in charge of uh, creating and running the game but uh, when you start only main.lua is executed and as you can see this main.lua main script um, calls the other two scripts here game manager and here Solaris logo. Um, require is the the standard Lua require function, which is the standard way of uh, calling another file, another script. And all functions uh, provided by Solaris are always in the sol table, um, which is a global value, global value, so a global table with the whole Lua API. So everything else is uh, standard Lua functions like require or of course functions that you define yourself. Um, okay, so your favorite your favorite link will be the documentation, the, the official Lua API documentation API uh, so you can access it from here or by pressing F1 and it gets you on this page then you can go Lua API reference application programming interface so all of this uh, describes uh, very precisely all functions provided that the by the engine, all functions that you can call, and also uh, the functions that the engine can call in your code. Uh, we will see that. But yeah, they explain here the whole UI, UI API is available in the soul table. Okay, so there are a lot of types. Uh, game item uh, movements. We already saw uh, 
very quickly a function on the game type. So this is an object of type game. Uh, it was passed as parameter of this function. And this function is called here. So the game is actually created by this function. So you can see the documentation of this. sol.game.load the type game. So there are three uh, functions to exist, delete and load, and then a lot of methods. Um, so these ones uh, are also also some functions, but um, they are meant to be called on a game object, on a game instance. So if you know um, object-oriented programming languages. This is uh, standard uh, methods and this is like uh, statics, static functions, okay? So here we create a game object. This acts like a constructor actually. And then uh, we pass this object to the function here and the local keyword um, should be used all the time when you create a, va a variable if you forget it it will also work but by default this will be a global object so this is never what you want <laughs> this is not a good practice unless you really know what you are doing so here we create a boolean value uh, because exist returns true if this save game file exists. And here we, we create a, a game value. And this function initialize, initializes stuff in the game. So you can see the documentation of set max life, set life, set ability, set starting location. Uh, for example, if you if we check set starting location, the one that we changed in previous tutorials. It takes two parameters. The square brackets means mean that a parameter is optional and everything is explained here. So the documentation is very detailed. Um, okay, so starting location. So this is for game and general features describe the, the functions of sol.main um, because game is, is about playing a game but main is really uh, more global stuff about your quest so you can see a lot of functions here to get uh, some general information about your, your quest. And um, yeah, so another important thing is that in all or almost all types of the of the API, there are some functions or methods. Um, these ones are provided by the engine and your Lua code can call them. Um, so actually they are, impl they are implemented in C++. And the contrary also exists. You can define some functions with uh, special names uh, documented, documented, documented here. And um, yeah, and the engine will call these functions. So, for example, this code is called automatically when you start the quest. This is a uh, perfectly normal function. It's just that you define the function and since it has exactly this name 
on the sol.main table. It will be called by the engine because it's documented here. Okay. I'm started called at the beginning of the program. And yeah, when the the quest begin begins, we show the logo and then we start the game. Um you can check the sol.menu API to understand this better. But uh, that's not the point. I just wanted to explain that sometimes you call functions of the C++ engine, like this, and sometimes it's the engine that calls your code. And this kind of function, automatically called by the engine, is called an event. You never actually call this, you just define the function and the engine will call it. And there is another event on key pressed, very easy to understand. Um, it is automatically called when any keyboard key is pressed. And here we check a few keys, F5 to switch the video mode. You can try that to um, see exactly what it does. F11 or um, Alt Return or Control Return to switch to, to switch to full screen. Alt F4 to stop the program. So, for example, this uh, this is a a function, a C++ function called here in your code on sol.main, and this is a Lua function called by the engine. Okay, so it works both ways and all the time in the documentation you have a function section and an event section. This was also true for the game. Functions and methods are both engine code that you can call and events are your code that the engine calls. And of course there are a lot of events, of possible events, in all types, but um, the one that you don't define will just never be called. Okay, so for example we can try to, let's say, play a sound when another key is pressed. For example when you press A, so how to play a sound? Uh, you can see that in sol.audio there's a play sound function that takes as parameters the ID of the sound. Oops. So the ID as it appears in this list in the first column. And let's play this sound that you must know if you play Zelda secret uh, so I just played it in the quest editor by double clicking but to play it in the game uh, we use the Lua API and also let's do this to tell the engine that we want to consume the the key event. Okay, so if I press A, it works. And since I defined this in sol.main on key pressed, it's really at the global level, so it's even called during the title screens, during the logo here. Uh, I was too quick. Okay, so sol.main is really really global. It doesn't matter if a quest is, if a game, sorry, is currently running or not. Uh, okay, so again, you can call some functions provided by the engine, and in the other way, the engine can call your can call your code. 
and all events always start by on underscore so of course if, when you define your own functions um, like I know this one it's a local functions to this file uh, when you define your own functions uh, if you don't want them to be called by the engine if you don't want to risk a, co a conflict of names just don't start their name by on okay so it was just a small recommendation and um, let's uh, put this code back the final thing I wanted to say is um, a quick tip to debug your scripts when you have problems you can use the standard print function of Lua and print stuff hello world it will appear in the console here so if I press A hello world ok I can press it again <coughs> it's very useful to uh, do some debugging when you have problems so ok there are a lot of, of scripts and usually you don't modify the main script a lot but um, you create specific scripts for some tasks like here take care of running a game but um, there will also be map scripts for now uh, map scripts are all empty but not really empty because there is some default code but it does nothing we will see how to use map scripts in in future tutorials but for example uh, it will be useful to uh, program the behavior of what happens of what happens on the map. For example, if you have uh, a button, a pressure plate, uh, they are called a switch in the engine. You will use Lua code to describe what happens when the player activates the switch. For example, you you will be able to open a door or make a chest appear, something like that. All of this will be done in Lua. You will also have enemy scripts to describe their movements, their force, their attacks and everything. And also item scripts to create weapons. Okay. Um, so yeah, we will do a lot of of Lua in in future tutorials. Uh, if you have any question, uh, don't hesitate to ask. I hope that it was understandable. Um, if you already have basics in programming languages, uh, I think it should be it should be easy. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and see you next time. Bye.